dear people, big and small, this is Faye TV with your crazy auntie Frida. Uh, today I want to ramble about slightly lighter topics than last time because I sometimes don't know how to express things. Um, here I am finally keeping an old promise someone requested a letter writing paper featuring a hippocamp. I didn't know what that was because I always thought a hippocampus is a part of the brain. Um, but obviously hippocampus means seahorse. So this is a thing that is like frontally a horse and in the back a sea creature. Um, um, I like that idea because uh, they have a lot of such legends in Iceland with a lot of animals which have like features of both aquatic animals and land animals. For instance, in the Sea Monster Museum of Bildudalur in Arnafjörður, in the West Fjords of Iceland, they have a sea monster museum where they have a lot of plastic or plaster models of sea creatures. Uh, there is a post stamp series of a variety of sea creatures, um, which I think you can uh, see on the homepage of the Icelandic Post, but I don't have it on me anymore because people want so much mail with those sea creature post stamps. But, um, like, in order to make it on a post stamp, as a public figure, you have to be, like, really important. So, I guess the sea creatures are really important to sea-related cultures. I grew up in a an area of Germany where the nearest body of water was a canal. So, let's... don't get me even started on sea creatures, but I am, in my heart, a sea person, and I actually believe that the deep sea holds some creatures that we don't know for sure what they are. I love horses, and I have my own story about horses who run into the sea. I would like to ask the question to the universe of my audience here. What kind of legends you want to hear? What do you associate to the sea? Or is there actually a legend you believe in? I have never seen a hippocamp, like, nor the animal near the, neither the part of my brain, because I don't look inside my brain, I just talk about my brain. <laughs> and I got two new funny hats in order to keep my brain together. I'll see you around. Uh, yeah, I made some more papers with animals. Those are actually a provable species. They are called commerce on dolphins, but they will feature again in my next video. Because I want to talk about black and white as a way of thinking. <laughs> if you have any ideas about black and white thinking and about people who ignore the fine tunes, then please do let me know. I want to talk with you, not only to you. Bye-bye.